Okay, so have a quick look around this 2010 Land Rover Defender 90 TDCI pickup with uh, a proper eye for Williams um, truckman top on it, which is obviously detachable. Finished in uh, blue with a white roof and white wheels. Wheels are fitted with a matching set of BF Goodrich Mud Terrain TAs on there, certainly four of them. Uh, there is no spare wheel. Um, I'm sure we can provide a spare wheel and tyre if needs be from our uh, selection, but it won't be a white one. It won't probably be a BFG, but if you need it. Um, what's it got in the spec wise? It's basically very, very standard. No checker plate, no side steps. It's got rear mud flaps on it. Um, it's got adjustable tow pack. As I say, the Eiffel Williams back, the, um, the back of it hasn't been boarded out. It's uh, in standard trim inside there. Uh, the only difference from standard spec, it's got a, uh, a reasonable JVC um, radio CD with auxiliary plug in it. And that's your lot. Um, apart from that, you know, exactly as it left the factory. So let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. One or two minor blemishes on the paint, nothing major. Uh, around the front end here on the bonnet, we've got this sort of, uh, I don't know what's happened there, if it's been touched in or, or what, but uh, you can see it on the video. It's just a mark from polishing. There is a very small dent that I did see in the bonnet. Um, yeah, very sort of like a little parking dink just there, but it's very, very hard to spot. Uh, so a couple of other stone chips and marks on the bonnet and tar marks and things. There's a chip just here on the light surround. Um, and a slight dent just here in the near side front light surround that has gone very slightly into the wing just there, but not much. Small mark just there on the wing. Um, yeah. Looking down the offside, there's a slight dink just there in the barrel side on the top of the uh, near side wing. Uh, but otherwise, looking down the near side actually looks relatively straight. The modesty cover under the door is very slightly crinkled. You can see on the video just there. Um, roof screen screen looks reasonably good no big chips or anything the usual paint loss in the gutter they always seem to do that these later ones um, screen block on the near side has obviously been repainted with a brush because I can see the brush marks in it and there's a couple of marks here on the um, well what used to be the vent flap but uh, the, the <coughs> excuse me <coughs> blind vent flap again a couple of marks here on the scuttle corner but otherwise all looks good along there. Near side front wing we've talked about, A post all good. Near side door there's a few minor scratches around the handle area. Um, and a scratch just there on the, just behind the window. Inside here it's all in uh, reasonably good shape, door cards are nice. It's got hard euro matting on the uh, floor in the tunnel. Uh, the seats are the original denim twill ones. Passenger one has lost a bit of its, its vinyl is split just down there where this handle's dug into it. And there's a couple of minor splits in the uh, passenger seat base, but nothing major. Dash is all nice. Driver's seat, the backrest is quite badly worn just there. We can provide a set of seat covers, I should think, if, uh, if needs be, but you know, they are what they are. They're working vehicles. Uh, it's got the center obman's tray. That's its JVC stereo. Headlining is all in nice clean shape, nothing amiss there. So, hard you and matting throughout. Shut that passenger door, probably. There we go. Um, near side rear wing all looks reasonably good, nothing really to criticize there. I've got the top dropped open at the moment. Unusually, the tailgate isn't too badly dented there, it normally is. Couple of marks on the tailgate up around here, bit of paint loss just around here. Um, rear cross member, as you can see. Um, in the back here, so it's lost quite a bit of its paint, but that's again perfectly normal on one of these, especially if it's been used to carry livestock. Looking down the offside, slight dink in the barrel side on the driver's side rear wing. But aside from that, just up here, looks like it might have been a bit of paint's been touched in there, possibly. Bit of a dink there. Um, 
slight blemish just here just above the arch lip and there is a bit of paint loss on the uh, around the rivets just down on the offside rear wing there and a bit of paint loss on the modesty cover again the modesty cover on the offside is a little bit crinkled um, but it is an ex-working vehicle one or two minor marks on the paint on the driver's door nothing major slight dink just there offside front wing got a slight dink just there and we've got a crack in the paint on the front of the offside wing that goes round like so um, scuttle corner all looks pretty good uh, screen block is the same as the off of the near side one and then it's been the paint does match it's fair to say um, but again the screen is in nice shape and then inside here that's just where my dirty feet have just moved it out but it was nice and clean in there a minute ago uh, it's a nice hard euro matting throughout on the seat boxes and everything driver's seat base is fine but as we say the backrest has uh, um, got a chunk of its vinyl missing but um, even new seats aren't difficult for one of these from export trim that's about it it's actually uh, so it's a nice driving um, TDCI low I think it's only had two owners I'll have to check yeah, there is a very slight dink just there in the barrel side on the driver's side we there you have it. My name is Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. We can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. End.